Hello guys, 2E0 VOV. Welcome to the workbench. I'm going to show you today a little bit of my uh, my homebrew scratch built linear amplifier. HF bands from 10 through to 40. It's got low pass filters built in and it runs on a pair of push pull 2SC1969 transistors. It draws around 3 amps, produces about 35 watts. Let's open the lid and I'll show you how uh, it's all been put together. RF starts off over here. It comes in through, through the um, sensing circuit, which controls our transmit and receive relay over on this side here. From there, it goes through the Pi network attenuator, feeds into toroidal one, so T1 there, which then drives the 1969s. The 1969s are set up as the PA set as a push-pull configuration. So we've got two of them here working back to back. They are protected by a diode, uh, which is that one there. That's not actually a transistor, it's a diode. Um, we've got a little LM317 either on the side here, bolted through the side of the case. He provides the low voltage supply to drive these. Um, the bias is set here on the little trimmer. Now obviously the more simple things involved here, the on off switch. We've got our little resistors here feeding our LEDs for the transmit receive. Band selection switch, kind of fairly obvious. Um, this is T2. I couldn't get a, T, a, a toroidal of the size that I was really after, so I made my own. Um, it's up to you how you do it. I'm not here to show you or teach you how to make one of these i'm just sharing the knowledge of what i've got and what how i've done it so if we move across to this way we've got our filters here so a 40 meter filter bank here for the low pass two relays back to back um, <clears throat> and then we've got middle set which is 20 and 17 meters and 10 and 15. so this is how i've made my construction for the for the build um, it is a blank canvas because you do literally start with nothing more than a piece of copper board. So you can lay it out how you like. This worked well for me. This is actually the Mark II model for me. I already built one previously which worked very well, which made me want to build another one again. But this time I chose to build it with a bit more space in the box. I'm very pleased with the way it works. It, it runs cool and I'm very happy with it. Um, it was very a very good idea. A lot of these components were actually <laughs> repurposed. They are um, recycled from previous use. They've come out of other comp other boards, um, which I've ripped out at work um, as scrap. So a lot of these components are actually getting a new life. As the, as the saying goes, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. So. I've rigged up the little small linear here. He's, he's rigged up onto a 50 watt dummy load, which is going through a power meter up onto the top here. So we can see what's going on. The radio set to five watts, 20 meter band selected, 20 meter band selected on the filter bank. So all is well. So let's try it. We're on a 12 volt battery at the back there. So we're on a complete portable kind of scenario now we're running purely battery power so we are truly 12 volt not 13.8 so here we go on the barefoot of a radio five watts barefoot one two three four five <whistles> five watts no problem at all now we've put on our little linear so here it goes with the homebrew uh, testing again one two three four five testing the linear one two three four five there you go. It delivers the goods no problem at all. And uh, I suppose we could take it over to 40 metres while we're here. 40. Forty metres, there we go. Forty metres. One, two, three, four, five. Still 30 watts. There you go, that's my homebrew project for you guys. This is the kit I operate with when I'm in the field. Thanks for checking in. I'll talk to you again in the next one. 7-3 for now.